Hello there. I'm Neil White of the Red Meat Council. <laughs> now, in the past few years, red meat has taken a real beating. You see, so-called intelligent people have done research and come up with a bunch of reasonable facts that could dissuade you from ever eating red meat again. Now, the problem is these reasonable facts only tell part of the story. For instance, they're very fond of saying that the high fat content of red meat will clog your arteries, causing a massive heart attack. Well, that's all well and good, but <laughs> what they fail to mention is the sheer number of arteries you have in your body. Do you have any idea how many arteries you have? <laughs> what? Well, I don't uh, know for sure, but I've heard there's a lot of them. So it's not like you're going to notice if you clog up a couple half dozen. And this is just one example of the kind of propaganda we have to deal with every day. Here's some more. I've heard that red meat is hard to digest. It gets stuck in the intestinal tract and causes cancer. Well, what happens when you get caught in a blizzard for two weeks without any food? I'll tell you what happens. Your body feeds on that big chunk of undigested steak that's been sitting down in your lower intestine since last October. In other words, that stuck steak could save your life. Isn't red meat full of maggots and larvae? Well, what are maggots and larvae? They're bugs. And what are bugs? Protein. <laughs> and what does protein do? It builds strong and healthy muscles. That's what it does. We're supposed to eat foods that are rich in water, aren't we? You know, I've heard that red meat is dense, non-porous, and dehydrating. <sighs> okay, fine. Now, what do you call this? I call this good, refreshing water. <laughs> That's water, mister, and boy, does it taste good, too. I thought the chemicals and additives in red meat made you nervous and irritable. Well, I don't agree with that, all right? <laughs> but don't just take my word for it. Listen to this. Whenever I feel nervous and irritable, I like to relax in a bathtub full of red meat. Oh. It calms me and feels great. In fact, I don't think I'll ever get out. <laughs> and there you have it. Reasonable reasons to eat red meat. And quite frankly, titillating reasons to wear it. For the Red Meat Council, I'm Neil White. Thanks for listening. Yeah.